Hey guys, today I'm going to show you my Hot Wheels collection. As you can see, this is a Dodge Viper RT10 and it is well from hot from the Hot Wheels series then and now. Actually, fun fact, the Dodge Viper as a new model. Well, why did I say that? Because well the name changes all. Because well, why would they put it in then and now series? If we didn't have a anyways. Well, uh, it's a Dodge Viper RT10 and it has a white paint job with the blue stripes and uh, my cat is here. Brilliant. Well, I'm going to, well, I'm going to, looks like I'm going to show you my cat. Hey, my cat. He likes cameras a lot. But she's also very scared of people. Good cat. Now she's sitting in my lap. Okay, anyways. So, well, that's a Dodge, uh, Dodge Viper RT10, as you can see. And it has the white paint job and blue stripes. Well, I already said that, but I'm seeing it again. Anyways, okay. Now, I'm going to show you the TV series Batmobile. And, well, it's from the Batman series. Well, here you go. And uh, yes, it's in it, it's in a black color, and it has red over here. It has red stripes going down, and also the red iconic bat sign. I said that in a very stupid way. And it also has, and as you can see, it also has blue windows, and uh, it's a two seater, and it also has a really cool back. Look, it looks like a jet, well, a jet from the nineties. I don't even know anything. And uh, then we have a... Well, I'm trying to see it from the camera. But it's actually... Uh, well, anyways. It's a Corvette C7R. And it has a summit paint job. And it's from the uh, HW uh, Speed Graphics. And, well, HW stands for Hot Wheels. Why did I say that? And my cat is now uh, mewing. I'm trying, thinking of a new way to kill me. Okay, anyways, and uh, it has a it, it, and it has a blue color, and it has a, a red, and it has a red on the side, and well, it has normal windows, and it ha and it's uh, well, you can see the headlights, but sadly, the trunk lights don't have well, they don't have any color, and uh, then we can see the summit logo over here. Then we have the Porsche nine. 34.5 it has really cool yes my cat is active read for some reason and then we have a Porsche 934.5 and as you can see it has it has the cool looking blue colored rims and it also has a deep also has a deep black midnight color and you can also see the Porsche the Porsche uh, logo printed and well, that's the iconic Porsche sign. And uh, then we have this, a Mazda RX-7. Well, it's not, no, well, it's not the iconic Mazda R7, RX-7, which was known as the golden vehicle of Mazda. Well, except for the Mazda Miata, Miata. Okay. So, well, I think uh, this was not the iconic model. Of course, it's not the iconic model. Everybody knows that. I'm actually very bad. Okay. Anyways. Then we have a Porsche 365A Outlaw and I love it. I love the color. I love the graphics. I love the tires. Wait, why am I saying tires? I love the rims and it's just so cool. It's a Porsche back from the 50s or 60s. And uh, by the way, you know, the man who in well, who was the founder of the Porsche company also worked for Adolf Hitler. Yep. Ironic, right? Anyways, then we have a Morris Mini. Then we have a Morris Mini and uh, well, it's from the HW Art Cars and uh, well, it's a Morris Mini. It has a white color. It is well, cool art around it. Well, well anyways, and uh, well, it's really cool. Next, we have a Mercedes AMG GT, 
in the midnight deep black and it also has well rear rims uh, but here's the sad thing well they put the stickers well on the trunk lights but didn't put any sticker on the headlight that's mean these hot wheels give me a refund no wait a minute you only give two so where's the second one anyways marshmallow what's your problem don't try you don't kill me please i'm doing a youtube video here we have she's just trying to look look no don't try to catch it just sit down okay anyways then we have well i'm unable to read the name actually fun fact this was my first ever hot wheels this sparked my collection of hot wheels actually my father's friend gave it to me and i think it says over here circle trucker and it's a really cool car and i really love it it has a black color and there's flames on the side and it has red it has why no i'm not color blind and it has orange and it has orange rims and orange uh, windows fun fact no not a fun fact because it isn't a fact this is actually a 2010 car and i think i got it in 2010 and it's in mint condition mint mint condition now i'm going to show you the hot wheels 50 hot well one minute why did it do that on the packaging it the hot wheels 50 edition vehicles i don't know it has a really nice cool it has a really nice cool black uh, paint job why no not black gold uh, gold paint job and i think it's a 67 camaro and as you can see it's well for the average millionaire and uh, that's it i think because well it's golden it has dot will 50 sign and that's all then i'm going to show you my priceless hot wheels not exactly priceless but here in pakistan it's actually very rare to find but uh, let me show you this is the collection of hot wheels that you can't see it from the box well you can see it now here you go can you see it no i think you can't no but you can and no marshall is going she's just a weird cat anyway so in my collection i have another hot wheels 50 vehicle and i think this is the 64 impala can anybody tell me down in the comments why does it say tmgm in like every gm owned uh, company so well it has a very nice well black paint job and it has uh, well it's black and gold so basically well I'm not going to show you any of the 50 Hot Wheels. Let me tell you one. Imagine any Hot Wheels. Any. Any Hot Wheels. Even any one you have. Make it black and gold. And the 50 Hot Wheels stuck with it. That's all. That is the 50 anniversary Hot Wheels. Anyways. But then I have a Lambo. A Lamborghini Hurricane. And uh, well, it's... Lamborghini... I don't know who Lamborghini is appointed for while well, giving their car names, but I think he has a very long name because, well, the Lamborghini, this Lamborghini's name is, wait for it, wait for it, Lamborghini Huracan LP622 Super Trofeo. Well, that's what's written on it. Anyways, and, uh, well, it has the Italian flag, and it has the, but I have showed you it again because you can't see it from that closely. It has the Italian flag and it has black rims and uh, its cool factor is that it's a Lamborghini Huracan and not any ordinary Lamborghini Huracan. It's a Lamborghini Super Trofeo. Anyways, then we have uh, a Ferrari 250 Giugio. Now, for some reason, I think this is going to be worth a lot of money. Can any Hot Wheels expert tell me that? But it's also very scratched up. And it, well, well, but the uh, logos on the side are in mint condition. And uh, well, uh, that's all I can say. I actually traded it for another car. And now I'm going to show you, well, a Porsche. I love, now you might be thinking, 
He loves Porsches. And the thing is that I love Porsches too much. Hashtag I'm dead, dead inside. No, I can't say that. If my father watches this, he'll be very angry anyways. Now we have a Porsche 617 LH and uh, fun fact. Not a fun fact, it's a fact that Porsche used this as their official racing car. And uh, well, it, it has a blue color, it has uh, gray rims and uh, it has the Gulf logo. It's already scratched up. I scratched it up. Sad. I'm very sad. Anyways, Marshall is back in my lap. That's right. Marshall is back in my lap. I'm gonna make a rap. Leave it that rhyme. Marshall is, Marshall is back in my lap. I'm gonna make a rap. That's it. Um. This is gonna take a very long time. Indeed. What's wrong with you, Marshy? You act very weird today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyways, then we have uh, too many cars. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a part two of well this video because I don't have I can't spend all of my life making this video. But don't worry. Do not worry. Do not. Don't hit me, Marshmallow. I'm going to show you one of my model cars. They're not even model cars, well, they're actually uh, classical cars. I'm going to take them out. I'm going to give you a nice spin. How oh, am I saying weird words when I'm a student? Look, sneak peek. We'll take some time. Too many cars for you. Too many more cars. Why did I become a YouTuber? Well, I shouldn't have. And I got a Cadillac. And I got a Mercedes. And I got no cards except for some scrap. Anyways, oh no. Technical difficulties. No, not a single technical difficulty. But now there's a problem. I'm very stupid. Um, okay. I just set it up to the stone like that. Anyways, now this is a black Cadillac. Uh, well, it's 1953 Cadillac Series 62, used under license. And uh, I think this is what. Um, no, no, not in the billionaire. This is what the middle class man. Well, not the man, a middle class grandma would have bought in the 80s. Well, actually, like the rims that especially produced the rims for this vehicle, that gives it a special factor. And, uh, well, that's it. But, but, I'm very tired now. I can't show you the other cars. I'm a savage. Mm -hmm. But now I'm going to show you. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm dabbing. I like dabbing. Then we have this. It's a Chevy. Well, it's not really. I said it's a Chevy, but actually it's a 1955 Ford Thunderbird. And well, this is an iconic vehicle by Ford. An iconic vehicle. And the Thunderbird was very famous. Many well, teenagers bought them. Many young people bought them. And uh, well, and during the time, gas was very cheap. So what people bought gas guzzlers. And this is a classical example of a gas guzzler. Then we have this, 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 this. 
this. Now, guess what it is. Guess anyone who is going to guess it correctly. I'm going to like and comment to his comment. Guess what car this is? No, I mean not literally guessed it. It's a Ford Mustang and uh, it's a 1964 model and it is in a blue color and this is one of the iconic vehicles of Ford. Another iconic vehicle. This is the most iconic vehicle after the Thunderbird. No, but anyway just forget what I said. And uh, it's a brilliant vehicle. And you can also say that it's a gas guzzler, but it was also a downfall of the Ford Mustang when actually they started producing lame models of it. But you see, here's the funny thing. For some reason, can somebody tell me that on the license plate, it says 1964 1 by 2 1964 and a half. I don't understand that. Like, see? See, can you see it? No, you can't see it. Very dumb. And, uh, well, even on the underside, it says that. But, what I don't understand is, when I checked on the internet, it said in 1964, and there was no, well, a 1964 and a half more. Then I'm going to show you another vehicle. It's a BMW. Just kidding. It's a Mercedes Benz, and um, it's well, it's a 1954 Mercedes Benz 300 SL. And uh, any car guy would know well from its distinctive shape. I think this was uh, Mercedes Benz's first sports car. So if uh, any car guy knows if it is or not, and I really like the this is another special edition rims one because it has the special rims and another fact in well it's going to be very hard to show you but inside the steering wheel has the Mercedes Benz logo that's that's the amount of detail <coughs> sorry I'm getting sick and uh, well Another iconic vehicle, very iconic in fact, too iconic, here we go, this is a Chevrolet Corvette, and well Corvettes are so famous in America that I'm not going to say a word about it, but except that it's made by Maestro and uh, well even this has been given great detail well uh, really, really hard to show you but on the dashboard it says Corvette and that's very cool and uh, I really like that rather than doing normal simple 98 uh, Chevrolet Corvette on the back what they simply did was to do a 98 wet to give it the American feel now we're going to show you two other vehicles and they're from the Chevrolet family Guess what color they are? Well, I'm going to give you a hint. They, the car, I sh the model cars I show you, showed you. Well, they, well, they're the, they're from the family of the seventh vehicle. Seventh vehicle. I'm going to give you a into the name. CC. CC. That's actually very brilliant. But now I will also show you the vehicles. But the thing is I can't. Because well why did I say that if I if we were supposed to guess it? And over there you can see my mother randomly coming in. <laughs> Hello. Look. And uh, I already showed you the cat. Now she's going to come. Look, that's my mother. Well, at least you could recognize the legs. 
because we'll, you will show the legs. Okay, anyways, I guess that's by and any of the well uh, cars I said that you were supposed to guess will guess them. I'm going to also show you my cat now. And why I still doesn't understand that I'm doing a YouTube video. I just go away. Just give me one. I want to wait. Bye bye. Hi. Don't worry, your face is not going to be on YouTube. Can I have a kitty back? Azagazi. 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 Now the cat is gone. Mm, I wonder if so, she'll come back. Because I want to do what she can change to. Technical difficulties. Mama! You're going to take a long time. So, okay, I've got it. Finally, I've gotten my cat back. She was sitting comfortably with you. Yes. I don't know. But now I'm going to show you my cat from this angle. There you go. You still can't see it, can you? No, that's what I'm going to do exactly. Well. So, um. But here's what I'm going to do I'm going to flip this back. And where yeah, you can't see me now, but you can see the cat. And I can't zoom any further. Look, that's what a happy cat looks like. It's a me's cat, especially. She actually loves seeing her face because she's Siamese. Look, oh, that's cute. Show the internet your cute face, Marsh. Anyways, um, did I tell you what her full name is? No, I'm going to give you a guess. And my mother is still outside. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I guess that's by now because um, Mama's still going to come back and bug me again. And But also, I have to say bye bye to Mashi. You can't see it, but that's a 